Anthony on Air podcast, Rubik's Cubes are bullshit. You'll never know what they're doing today in sex hotels. For that, we bring on our Rubik's Cube and sex hotel experts, Frankie C. and J. Sabs. I'll let you guess which one is which. I'll take uh, Rubik's Cube. <laughs> so Rubik's Cubes are bullshit. According to Cube Guy 2020 on TikTok, um well he would know he would know he has nineteen thousand followers so you know it's real he would know um he says that you can solve a rubik's cube it doesn't matter what it is if anybody hands you a rubik's cube you just do these certain things and it will uh it will solve itself all right let me show you this yeah, video right i here. feel like that's up, everybody? The trick. Guy. i just wanted to show you a trick that they don't want you to know about take any cube as mixed up as you'd like and all you do is the same moves eight times. So this side goes up, the top goes across, you turn it 90, up, across, and you do that eight times total. So five, four, three, two, and one. And you solve any cube as mixed up as you'd like. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's cube guy. Look at Janine's face. <laughs> <laughs> Complete and total Anybody bullshit. Anybody have a Rubik's Cube? No, I don't. But I feel like my entire right life has been a friggin... Do you really have one? No. Oh, you I have think I have one. one. Hang on. I'll be right back. Of course you have one. one. Of course he does. He, obviously, he's the Rubik's guy and I'm the sex hotel person. <laughs> <laughs> I am so excited that we are going to put this Rubik's Cube uh, deal to the test. He's probably right. like, where's my Rubik's Cube? All right. Oh, do you really have a, a Rubik's okay. Cube? I do. It's a Wally themed Rubik's Cube, as in the movie Wally. Oh. Okay. It's all solved right now. So I'm going to mix it up as much as I Go can. Go ahead. Why do, you have a, why do you have a Wally Rubik's Cube? Because my wife is a huge Wally fan. Is she really? Yeah. Turned on Wally the other day. I had to turn it off. I couldn't. I, I had the kids. I don't know if that's really a kid. Man, you one. guys, I'm sorry, but you two have the worst taste in movies, the both of you. <laughs> it wasn't grabbing the kids right away. I had to abandon it. Um, all right, it's do not you wanna... really for young, young kids. It's for like, uh, yeah, it's I'd not. Say like 10 and up, maybe. It's, it's, all right, let's it's cute, but it's not for like five year olds or four year olds. Take any cube as mixed Watch up them. as you'd like. And all you do is the same moves eight times. So this side goes up, the top goes across, you turn it 90, up, across, and you do that eight times total. All right. So five, all right, four, three, two, and one. And you solve any cube as mixed up as you'd like. Okay, so here's a mixed up. But can I say before Rubik's you cube. do that, like I feel like my yeah. whole entire life is a lie because the Rubik's Cube was the first time in my life where I was like, oh my God, there are people that are way better than me in life. And I, like, I could never figure out the Rubik's Cube. I don't think I've ever solved the Rubik's Cube in my life, ever. You ever get excited because you got one side? Yeah. <laughs> You're like, holy crap, think? one side, I'm almost there. What do you think it's harder to find? The secret to Rubik's Cube or the woman's G spot? I got to tell you something. I, ma I mastered the, that G spot. To the next. I mastered that G spot. I wouldn't let that go. I said to myself, I'm not going to let this be another Rubik's Cube. And I made sure. <laughs> let okay, me get in so there. I can... <laughs> if you listen to this podcast, can I honestly tell you, you're missing the visual brilliance of J Sabs. Thank you. You're welcome because you're Honestly. you're you're like the John Ritter of this of this podcast. <laughs> John is it, Ritter. Is it John Ritter? What's his name? It's the guy from Three's Company. He's yeah, right, that's him. John but Ritter. what the hell are you talking about? Well, you know, because he was John's like a reactions were the best. Yeah, he was like a good physical uh, comedian. I'm sure, but I'm a good physical. It's just a comedian. random. All right. Now I couldn't see the video too well. It's All right, you want to see it again? Like Anthony's screen is kind of off. Oh, okay. Off screen. Do you want to? Do you want to? So I can't see really it? see you. Let me let me text it to you. Can really you text quick. it to me? 
So you can take a look at it and we'll see. We're going to test this theory out live on the recorded podcast, which is very exciting. Hold on to the the edge of your seats. And we'll see if this, we'll see if Cube Guy is full of crap. We're going to test out this BS. It went super viral, though. It was 1.8 million views. And I'm watching it. You guys talk amongst yourselves. He says do it eight times, I think. Let's see if Frank could get it. If I find out that this is how you like there was like it doesn't but it doesn't make any sense that there's a set way to solve the Rubik's Cube. I don't know what it is right. about the, the Rubik's Cube, but it was always this thing that was so unsolvable. Hard to get. Yeah. And then like you okay. watch those videos of like those like seven-year-old kids in tibet they're just like blah, 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 and they're doing it and they're like what the hell maybe they knew the secret or i don't know that doesn't doesn't make any sense mind-boggling i'm going to say this right to see now which way he turns it Andy. and i, and I want to be honest with everybody if this turns out to be bs i am going to have this guy murdered because he has given <laughs> me such a false sense of hope that is a threat Live on yeah. this show. So. Yes. Let me tell you something. If Cube Guy shows Hopefully up, dead, this works. You might as well come. You might as well come interrogate me because I did it. All right. Go ahead. All right. So please correct me if I'm doing this wrong, but it okay. seems the way he does he does it is forward once, and this thing is not okay. And then this way, and then you have to and turn then he it. Turns it this way. So so forward, turn it. This is not like the smoothest. And then turn it. Okay, go ahead. Forward. Do it again. And then turn it. That's three, right? Yep. This is four. Turn it. That was five. Six. Two more. Seven. Doesn't look like it solves, but hey, I could be wrong. Was that eight? Go one more time. <laughs> it's not even close. <laughs> it's not even close. What the hell is he talking about? That is bull. It's because it's the Wally one. So do you think he do you think he set this up? Was it bull? I think it's bull. It's not even close to anything. Yeah, forward. Unless I'm spinning something the wrong direction. I mean, is it? That is what she said. Which way? This way, and then turn it. Because he goes forward once, and then he spins the top this way, I believe. And then he spins it. Turn. Turn. And then. Oh, Oh, okay. Okay, hold on a second. He's got another. Yeah. Hey, here we go. All right. Here. Is he a magician or something? Again. So a couple of you have said that this didn't work for you, but I, I think maybe I forgot to mention. You have to find the corner cube that has the white, orange, and green, and you put that in the top right for you, and then you just do it eight times. One, two, three. So it's the one with the white, orange, and green. I don't know if that's going to help me here with Bobby. Yeah. Mm, but we're going to try. Because they are color coded, these things. These sides are kind of color coded. So he said, find the white, orange, and green where? cube that has the white, orange, and green. And you put that in the top right for you. And then you just do it eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that should work. Sorry about that. Hey, what's up? Cube guy again. So a couple of you hell? have said that this didn't work Move it a little you, to your left, eh? I, I think maybe I forgot to mention. You have to find okay. the corner cube that has the white, orange, okay. and green. And you put oh, that in the top right for you. And then you just do it eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that should work. Sorry about that. I think it's this one here. So there's Sorry orange. About that. Get your shit together, green. cute guy. And I think that's the white side. All right, good. Try it. So look, right? R- white, orange, green right here. Is that white, and orange, where does, green? Where do that, I, that we think it is? I believe so. Yeah. All right, good. Give it a try. 
All right, so where does he put it? Let That's me what she said. Here? In front or right here? To back, towards me. That's what she said. Yeah. I'm looking. <laughs> <laughs> the top right for you. So that should be the top right as you're looking at it. Should All right, be... so it's the top right. It's right here. It's facing me. Isn't that your left? Okay. No. I guess I'm reversed. Oh, you're back. Somehow. You're right. You're backwards because it doesn't say coats on your wall. It says stouk. <laughs> stouk. <laughs> so, all right. So, I'm going to go forward <laughs> and twist and then go this way. Forward, twist, and then 90 degrees. Yeah. Forward, twist, 90. Forward. Out, twist, 90. I think that's four. Forward, twist, 90. Owie. It forward. looks like some of them are starting to line up. Twist, 90. Forward. This thing's going to snap in my hands. Twist, If you injure 90. yourself doing a Rubik's Cube test, I will be forward. so happy. Twist, <laughs> <laughs> That's not even close. Not working. What are guys. we talking about here? All right. Maybe I think the... he's messing with well, us. Maybe you guys will do better on the G Spot um, video. <laughs> I think he's totally messing with us. That is ridiculous. I don't know, but you can see it in the video. He basically shows you how to do it. I think he's got it a solved, certain way. Like to, he's got it to a point where he could do that and it's solved. Like I think there's more steps maybe beforehand. I don't know, cause look at this—he's doing it with a five by five cube too. It's yeah, this is bullshit. There's no way. Unless I'm twisting it the wrong way here. That's what she said. He goes forward. <laughs> right, it looks like maybe he's twisting his left hand. So yeah, because he just backwards. said the camera's reversed, so maybe you're doing it the wrong way. Oh, come on now. All right. Green, orange, and white. Where are you? It's either this one. He's doing it like this. this one. Game. All right, so I'll go with this one. Green, orange, and white. Janine wants to sleep with this guy to see That's how he does game. with the... <laughs> All right. So he goes like this. It's for the podcast. One. Try it the other way because Janine is dying to get into yeah. the sex hotel uh, bit. And we're basically halfway through. I, I'm realizing as Frank is doing this, this is probably not a great listen. It might this be a good riveting. listen, but it's definitely a good watch. <laughs> Frank is sweating. It's hot in here. Well, the pressure's on him. <laughs> Frank, use two or three fingers. Why aren't these things smooth as they have them on the. Did you say use two or three fingers? <laughs> I don't, I don't know, man. This is not. <laughs> I think this guy's full of crap. I think your wife's going to be pissed that you ruined her Rubik's Cube, too. It was all perfect, and now it's all messed up, and now she's not going to see Wally. I'm going to have to solve it in my off time. This doesn't, this doesn't track. I'm not, I'm not convinced. You don't have to, you don't have to kill this guy. All right. You well, do? I don't remember what you said. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I might murder him. But would you, will you work on this? Do you think you can get it eventually? I think I he's watch the video a few more times. Let's see. Yeah, I this think if you backwards, he's... I think if you watch the video and and weren't performing on camera, th listen, th Frank, this happens to a lot of guys on camera. Okay, it's not. Oh uh, yeah, it's happened to you on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Performance anxiety. It's okay. <laughs> I'm doing all the moves, damn it. Do you want to go in the it. other room and be by yourself for a minute and try it in there and see if you can come back and be ready to go? <laughs> if you can get it going. Ginny, uh, can you warm it up for me? Yeah, <laughs> get it going. <laughs> Fluff yeah, this thing. Yeah, this is bullshit. Mm. Fluff this Rubik's Cube. All right. So then again, I might not be working with the white cube. Because I don't know if it's white or blue or yeah. which ones. I don't know. All right. Well, we'll figure that out. If anybody if anybody wants to test that out at home, leave a comment below and let us know or tweet us. 
Uh, you know all our Twitter information, uh, Instagram, Facebook, yeah. everything else. Uh, Anthony on If you guys can make a video of yourself doing it and, and solving it the way he said, share that with us too, because I don't think it's real. Yeah. Okay. Um, a sex hotel in Brazil has introduced an MMA suite. And there's a couple of great things about this. And, and one is that I didn't know there were such things as sex hotels. I mean, Isn't every hotel a sex hotel? I guess technically, but here we call that the Comac Motor Inn or a motel, whatever you want to call it. Motor Inn. Which, by the way, I am, let me just say, I am so impressed with the Comac Motor Inn's um, digital advertising campaigns because I will get hit with ads for the Comac Motor Inn. And they really. Why is that? I. I don't know. I think I'm just in there. I'm just in their area. This I have no qualms I, about what I'm searching. I think they. I think at one point or another, you gave them your email address. Now, why would that be? No, no, because I've been watching YouTube videos where their ad will pop up, like mid roll, and it's not right. even based. It doesn't have anything to do with the videos. I'm. I could be watching a Disney video, and the, here comes an ad for the Comac Motor Inn <laughs> and all their different themed rooms. I never think else. this is a, this is a Google search history thing. It's not where they they tailor make these ads for you. It legitimately is not because I'll never forget the first time I saw it. I was like, why would this pop up? I've not Googled ho- maybe a, a hotel. I mean, maybe if they're basing it off of that, I've looked up hotels, but I haven't looked sure. up cheap motels. I'm a married man. I have my own house. I have no reason to you know sex motel call Mac. Yeah, seriously. But Can't I remember a motel in our salaries. But I will tell you that once it came up, I did go to their website because I was flummoxed oh. at how an ex- how extensive of an ad campaign this. Are you trying to bat away the? It works. Watch the gun. See. <laughs> he had a little when you, Hitler when you do something before. different. It, it it gets rid of the pixels. <laughs> Um, anyway, having done this, having done, you know, digital marketing for many years, the fact that anybody did a campaign for Comac Motor was utterly fascinating to me. Uh, but we digress. Uh, they have put in an entire MMA suite here in this Brazilian hotel, complete with its own uh, octagon. And I think there's uh, boxing gloves and a belt in there, too. And there's uh, one of those uh, little punching bags. And it even comes with the Tybo guy. Yeah. That you I hate can... to put my hand in one of those gloves. I'm, unco- I'm uncomfortable being it. When was the last time you stayed in a motel? I mean, I can't even. Oof. I can't. I won't go into a hotel if it doesn't have four stars. It just this won't Maybe happen. That that trip uh, with high school when we went to New Paul's for uh, like that geology oh. trip. The, the three layer trip. Yeah, I think that was the last motel. That was insane. It was that was covered with uh, all kinds of crap. That's that was probably that was, that was probably the reason why I am the way I am today is because of that. Really? That trip. We had a high school it was trip. Janine. We went to an all boys school. We had a high school trip. Frank and I go. It's up to New Paltz. I don't know if you know this, but they don't have a single nice thing in New Paltz, New York. Like, <laughs> oops, nothing. Uh, so we take this bus right up there to dig out. What were we digging up? Like fossils and stuff. It was. It was actually yeah. kind of a cool trip. For it was kind of cool. I yeah. liked it. it was, but you know, you had those little those shell fossils and the and the crystals. Yeah, that was, okay. was pretty cool. All that stuff. All I remember from that trip was. Um, Santana had just released "Smooth" with Rob Thomas. Smooth, and wow! That was that was the- <laughs> all you heard. Everybody had their little disc man, and everybody. <laughs> you just walk up and down that bus. Everybody was just listening to that stupid song over and over and over again. Oh, we got the finger here. Hold on. There's a finger. Ouch. Okay. Are you okay? What? Yeah, my mom. All that? What are we going to tell? Oh, your mom just. I thought you were about to fart. That's what I thought that was. I thought you were getting something to show us. So. (laughs) Okay. Thank you. So 
we're on this trip and we're staying we get to the the hotel which we were told it was a hotel it was a motel on the side of the road bates oh. wouldn't have even stayed in this friggin' place it was it's, so it's, it's where you would film a b horror movie yeah Oh God! And this was this this is like we're probably ten to twenty years into key card technology at hotels, and we get there and they hand us a key on a ring with a friggin' <laughs> attached to a human bone. Yeah, I don't even <laughs> think the, t- the TV was color. So we go into oh. the room, and now there's four guys to a room, right? That's how we're splitting it because it's a cheap trip, right? Two beds. Two beds, four guys to a room, so we got a bunk up. So I don't even know who was with us, Frank. I know it was me, you, and two other. I don't even know who the two other people were in the room. Did you and Frank sleep together? We did, actually. Who was the big spoon? Who was the little spoon? (laughs) No, it's who was on top, who was on bottom. (laughs) <laughs> so we get in there and I, I I may have the the layering wrong here, Frank, but forgive me. But we get in there and on Correct, yeah. on the top sheet was like a like the top comforter thing was like a shit stain. And then we peeled it back and then on the next like blanket was like a stain of blood. And then when we peeled that one back on the actual sheet itself, I think was a pube, if I wasn't mistaken. Pubes. Like the Many biggest pubes. friggin', yeah, hugest pube you could ever imagine just on there. And like every time you peel this onion, it just got worse and worse. It was bad. So we stripped everything off the bed, got down to the mattress, which looked the cleanest. And I literally, I didn't even change into pajamas or anything. I just stayed in my, in my jeans t-shirt and a jacket and i just i slept on my back and i didn't roll i didn't do anything i woke up the same way i fell asleep yeah and I, that was the grossest night i remember that so we... you woke up with you went to sleep with anthony inside you and you woke up with anthony inside <laughs> you okay isn't anthony inside all of us <laughs> oh thanks man i appreciate that it was nice <laughs> oh Thank god you. i just remember we went to go tell my teacher who was this like manliest of man- manly men that you could ever find and we were like hey there's kind of like pubes blood and shit all over our beds <laughs> and he looked at us like so what Posies. yeah <laughs> i remember the exact line <laughs> that he said it was what he said? it was like two or two or three of our teachers um and one of them was uh i'm not gonna say his name but he was this like the quiet nerdy kind of teacher uh-huh. And he, they were all drunk at this time. <laughs> well, they were drinking. And they walk in. We, we showed them the, the room. And I remember he said, a little blood's not going to kill you. Yeah. And I, I, I was like, I don't know how many you know, forensic scientists would agree with you. It depends on what disease is in the blood. Unfortunately, our health teacher was in, in, the, in the group of teachers. No. We were stuck <laughs> with geology teachers. <laughs> They were like, this rock looks good. Oh, it was yeah, just put some rocks and dirt on it. You'll be fine. Yeah, it was really disgusting. That was wonderful. Did you smell the sheets, though? No. Maybe. No. I'm probably one of those things that if I smelled that same smell again, it would bring me right back to that room. Right. Just it was like mentally. when I smell semen, it brings me back to 42nd Street <laughs> in the subway station. <laughs> That Boy. can't have been the last time you smelled semen, though. How many people have that story, <laughs> though, Janine? How many people make that relation? <laughs> right, exactly. Probably a lot. Probably a lot. Oh. I haven't stayed in a hotel that bad since... Um, what was that thing we went to? Sesame Place. Sesame Place was not as bad as that, but it was, that. it was rather close. It was pretty close. I don't even remember that one. You didn't I stay in like a regular hotel, like a. It was a Radisson. Marriott or it, it was. It, it was, was disgusting. Radisons aren't bad, right? For the most part, I think you can get lucky on a Radisson, but it's not a four-star kind of a place. It's not. Oh. It wasn't good. It no. Wasn't good. Any hotel that has oh, bright green in their logo, it's not. That's not how branding works. Double tree. Maybe that's a dull green. That's a forest green. It's different. Oh. Yeah. I didn't really care for it all that much. One time, actually, when we went to Atlantic City, Frank, with you there, we had to switch rooms in that, that place because there was dry, literally dry semen on the wall. 
And I'll tell you, and you could ask my wife this. How do you know? I'm just thankful it was dry. It was the kind of thing where when you looked at the wall, you couldn't see it. But when I walked by at a certain angle, <laughs> when the, the light hit it a certain way. <laughs> it reflected. And it was this, <laughs> It was like a prism. All of a sudden, all these colors shot out of it. Well, like the cover of Pink Floyd's album. <laughs> <laughs> it was a semen prism. <laughs> it had that oh so jizzy sheen to it. <laughs> and then I smelt uh, it and it smelled like bleach. So I was like, we got to change rooms. You. This is. <laughs> thank you. See, I know you did that. What hotel now, which was one that? do you think? Which one do you prefer on the wall? Is it semen or bleach? Because bleach, you assume something <laughs> really terrible happened there. Where did we stay like that semen. time? Where, it was on the bay. It wasn't oh, on the God. beach. Where was that? What's the big one with the, the pool? The domed pool? Harris. Harris. I like Harris. It was, yeah, you know what? The second room we went into was because they were doing construction. So we were like in the old section. You never and... told me that that happened at Harris. I thought, yeah. I thought everything went well at Harris. No, we had to switch rooms. I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't I do it. I didn't know that. Yeah. I couldn't do it. Not cool. And that was the weekend we introduced you and D to the, um, what was it, Red Door Spa? Spa. Which I don't think exists anymore. Yeah. Yeah, that was it's the first time. That was the first time we went to a spa, and I was like, "This is heavenly." I'm like, "This." I was like, "Why are we fantastic. doing this more often?" Yeah. And then after that, we discovered the spa at uh, what's the what's the Bellagio looking one there? Borgata. The Borgata. The Borgata. Yeah, the spa at the Borgata, the Water Club. Oh my God! Up on the top level, overlooking everything. What what's uh, unique there? It's it's on the top of the thing, and it overlooks all of Atlantic City, so you can see all the you know the hookers and the crack dealers and stuff. It's just <laughs> nice, amazing. It's amazing. Really, really nice view. Does Phyllis want to be on the podcast? To talk about <laughs> about the last time she had sex. Yeah. Last time she was in a motel. Before we started Phyllis, the podcast. Be on the podcast. Before we started the podcast, Janine was telling us a tale about how she. Do you want to tell the story how you were aggravating your mother to tell you when it was the last time she had sex? I just wanted for to no know reason, the last time she had way. sex. For no reason. <laughs> <laughs> you should see her face right now. <gasps> <laughs> but the important question is, can she solve a Rubik's Cube? Yes. She probably can't. Does she know where for the, the love of God? Is? Would right. she stay at the MMA motel? Hmm. Phyllis, would you stay at a MMA inspired sex hotel room? No, she just ran upstairs. By the way, I have never, and if you guys don't want to admit to this or not, I'm okay with that, but I, I have never in my life gone to an hourly uh, hotel. Never. I feel like I'm probably going to be in the minority in that particular case. <laughs> <laughs> just by the way, everybody is looking. <laughs> And they're totally well, we kind of just everybody just went. Like, you know. <laughs> no, Frank, look, you look like you were about to admit something there is it too. You like you, you don't have to. I'm not here to force you guys to admit shit. But it looked like you, you were on, on team hourly motel. Uh, have I done an hourly motel? I don't think I have. Look at Janine. She's like, I'm no. a VIP over at the CMI. I don't think I have. Maybe I. I don't know. <laughs> Frank definitely has. I know someone who has. Frank definitely has. Who? Yeah, I did. I I couldn't. I see. I cross bay motor in. No. <laughs> I absolutely could not. I remember like be. I remember walking by the cross bay motor in, and watching somebody drive in there and just being like, "What? What are you doing?" Like oh, <laughs> the lowest of the low. Yeah. Sorry, Frank. If you went there, like I get like no, no. It's bad. It's that's a seedy thing. That's too seedy for me. I I skeeve. I I've never ever gone to one of those hourly hotels. I don't think I ever can. Why are you judging Janine? I don't know. I'm that. not. <laughs> I'm not judging Janine. I'm not judging Janine. You're throwing not a little judgment all. around here. No, I'm not. I would never. I just. I can't. I can't fathom how people can do it. I just. It's a. It's. It's. I could never. Yeah, do me it. either. Man. <laughs> It's disgraceful. <laughs> if you told me there was fifty grand in one of those rooms, I would still be like, nah, I don't wanna No thanks. What if we told you the room and where it is in the room? No. 
Okay. I might trip and fall, and my face might touch something. I can't. I like can't. Like the wall? Hit the wall? Uh, oh. Wow. <laughs> like that scene in a long game, Polly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was sweat. No. Still, that's, his, that's what I see in every hotel room. That's all I see is some old fat guy sweat touching everything. You think it's any better in a, in a hotel? No, I don't. I really don't. That's why I don't really do well in hotels to begin same, with. Same crap. I mean, they clean, but they can't get everywhere. Please don't. Let's not feed into my, my phobias and worst nightmares. I mean, I, how often do you think they actually wash the comforter? Do you uh, think it's after every stay? No. Uh, Comforters are not easy to wash. White people love saying, I wonder what's at the farmer's market this weekend. I wish there were a farmer's market around here. White people love farmer's that. markets. We lo- this is what white people They're- love. White people love going outside and buying stuff that they could buy inside. We just There's something about being For outside. twice the price. Yeah. White cool. people love inspirational sayings carved into or painted onto wood. No, I can't do that. We do. Love the only it. thing I'll settle for is coats. We love it. White people also loves woodwork. Like white people love a, an American flag made out of wood or old fence. I think I have one of those actually. Yeah, we, of course you do. Look at the color of your skin. We love that <laughs> shit. Pale is that a color? I'm almost <laughs> I'm clear. Kidding, Frank. White people, we love this is what we love to do. Go outside, get a pickle from the barrels and go buy some wood with some stuff written. <laughs> you got to stop market. by the pickle guy. You got to get guys the pickle the guy. No, at a farmer's market. <laughs> at a farmer's market. You know, I took, uh, uh, Aaron and I took my nieces out to, a, it was a, a festival that was over here, you know, rides and they had little um, stands that people were selling <laughs> stuff. And uh, there was also a pickle guy. The line I've been to for that the pickle, pickle guy, guy I've been to him. was a block long. For the pickle guy. They're great. Yeah. For the pickle guy. He literally, it's literally a pickle on a stick. And he's selling them like they're going out of style. You know, just one after the other. Just boom, boom, boom. Had to be cleaning up with pickles. Pickle guy, <laughs> pickle guy is to farmers markets and, and festivals what Auntie Anne's is to the mall. It's just... That's what you women can't use open to dis- all without an Indian. No, no, that's what women use to disable walk. men so that they can go buy what they need to buy. I don't know if you know this, Frank, but this is how women have disarmed men. They go, "Oh, you want to go to the mall?" And you're like, "Not really." Like, I get you one of those pretzels. You like? You're like, "Yeah, you know what? I could go for a pretzel. Let's, just, let's make that happen." How else are you gonna get us there? And then you get the pretzel, and you're I'll so get- happy and excited, and you're like, "Yeah, but yeah, get that. We do need that. We do need another American flag made out of a fence." <laughs> <laughs> do you think there's an Annie Anne's that exists outside of a mall? I know there's one in Penn Station, but other than that, like there's not a store just somewhere that's Annie Anne's. There's not a standalone Annie Anne's? There might not be. I don't think so. You well, have to be in a mall if you're in Annie Anne's. They're in rest stops. They're on the t- they're in highways. That's but, true. Right at, at like rest stops. You know what stops. else ticks me off about malls? Oh, there, what ticks you every off? time you go to Every time you go to a mall, they don't sell American like flags made out of fences, and they are Not indoors. Enough of them is my point. Oh, okay. No, um, the only thing I like to eat at malls, uh, besides the pretzels, is chicken teriyaki. Yeah. And you can't get like you can get chicken teriyaki other places, but you can't get that kind. You know where it's just a bed of rice with a bunch of chicken teriyaki slapped on top of it. From like any Chinese food place, like uh, what are you no, talking about? No, not like that. Like chicken teriyaki. The chicken. Te- hey, you can get like a bowl of chicken teriyaki with some other crap, but the way they make it at the mall, they just get a shit ton of rice, put it in a styrofoam thing, and cover it with with uh, the teriyaki. All the you know, chopped up chicken. I can't get that anywhere. Where? Am I wrong? Oh, Frank. <laughs> That's Janine's response to you're wrong. She goes, oh, Frank. Um, yeah, you can get chicken yeah. teriyaki anywhere. You can get chicken teriyaki places, but not the way they make it in malls. 
like just a mountain of chicken on top of rice. I Frank, went, I can't help you out there. I was Man, at, you two I was go at, against me so many times <laughs> in this podcast. I, I knew he was going to say that. I feel like you talk to me, you talk to each other before we get on this thing. No. And it's like, whatever Frank let's says, fuck with him. Let's, let's fuck just with him. fuck with him. No, I just, it's chicken teriyaki. It's not hard to get at places. <laughs> I'm not saying just chicken teriyaki. I'm Phyllis saying is trashing Janine's totally house different. now because she's mad because we talked about her sex life on the podcast. <laughs> yeah. My Let's get back to that motel yeah. thing. So they have a, no, an she, MMA. She's telling me that she's got to go, so I have to go upstairs, but she also just tripped over a piece of wood. <laughs> Was there an American flag painted on it? No. <laughs> Was there an inspirational quote on it? <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, hold on, I got she, <laughs> she tripped on a piece of wood in the in the look in the shape of family. Uh, that. It wasn't big enough. Next though. to the power saw, what the I, hell is that? <laughs> Hi, Phyllis. How are you? Hey, Phyllis. <laughs> she can't hear you. <laughs> Did she almost right. trip onto a table saw? <laughs> oh my god, that would have been funnier. I went to I mean, the I went to the mall for, one time. For a couple seconds. As we wrap this up, I went to the mall. I went to the Chinese place. The mall, and I was like, I just want lo mein. I was like, can I just get a thing of lo mein? And the guy looked at me. and He goes, I'm not gonna lie to you. This is just spaghetti with teriyaki on it. And I was like, Ew, disgusting. What? Yeah, that's what he said. He literally said, I'm not gonna lie to you. We just used this like it was next to the Sparrows, and I think they were just <laughs> just a vat of spaghetti. So <laughs> can you really call it spaghetti sauce. anyway? What is that? Can you legally call it spaghetti anyway? I don't know. I was it like comes from Sparrows. Yeah, I was like, I was like, ah, I was like, all right, but it was delicious. Oh, it was delightful. Man. The whole four okay. pounds of it. All right, we'll leave it there. Uh, special guest uh, appearance to Phyllis. We want to thank her for that. <laughs> now she's choking. <laughs> Just watch all out right. for that saw. That's yeah. That's in a bad place. You're she probably about... slipped on semen. What? <laughs> I don't know if we can put this episode out either, actually. <laughs> oh, man. Let's do it in a row. <sighs> all right. Uh, if you made it this far, thank you. Of course, rate and review on Apple Podcasts and get all our information at anthonyonair.com.